This is kind of like the pinnacle of automotive photography. This car is drop dead gorgeous. Probably the most visually stunning car I have ever seen. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan, otherwise known as Apex Pixel. I don't really know what this video is. So if you've been around since the start, which uh, technically this is still the start because I haven't really grown this channel at all, but you'll know from earlier this summer that I said I was actually gonna be starting this YouTube channel. And I think since then I've only posted, I've only posted 14 videos since the beginning of summer. And that was, well, that was last year. That was like six months ago, so. Uh, with that in mind, I kind of want to do like a refresh here and officially start this channel anew. Um, I'm really excited about the potential to kind of grow this thing and even if it doesn't grow, just kind of the ability to keep making content for the internet um, and have it at least somewhat revolve around editing, photography, and the automotive world. So automotive photography, right? But uh, what I'm most excited about, I think, is actually having a schedule. So I have a sort of a tentative schedule. I'll be trying to post one, maybe two videos a week. Um, and even if they're just simple little videos like the one I have planned for today, uh, at least I'll be posting something. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm gonna try and adhere to right now is consistency. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna hopefully be posting more regular on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a little bit more on TikTok, doing some reels for Instagram as well. Uh, and then of course YouTube videos, whether that be edits, behind the scenes videos, uh, random tutorial things, or even just like a, a weekly review of cool posts that I saw on Instagram. Um, this really could be anything, but I think the main thing for me is going to be staying consistent with my uploads, staying consistent with editing, and make this a part of my life because I do enjoy it as much as kind of anything else in life right and so when you do enjoy something so much do more of it um, so anyway sweet so now with that out of the way let's just give a little bit of content for this video it's one thing I want to do a little bit more regularly I was thinking about doing this once a week I have been saving cool posts that I come across of course uh, for inspiration sake but just because I think they're epic um, and I have them saved. I've got a, a bunch of archived photos that I've come across. We're gonna start here with the top posts that I've, that I've seen kind of all time. So this first set comes from the automotive photography legend, Alex Penfold, which I'm sure everyone watching this video has heard of, at least uh, in one way, shape, or form or another. Uh, and if you haven't heard of him, I'll drop a little bit of a animation somewhere on the screen right here. But basically, go check him out. I'll leave the link to all of these posts down below in the description, below the like button. Uh, so you can check them out for yourselves. But this first one from Alex Penfold is a beautiful Ferrari TRS, which is kind of like the special edition or a special version of the TDF, if I'm not mistaken. Although it's very different and it, it may be its own standalone car. If I'm wrong, you can correct me down below. But this is kind of like the pinnacle of automotive photography. And for me, it's uh, kind of wiggled its way into the top five because it is actually a personal favorite of mine. Um, I think this car is drop dead gorgeous. I think it's probably the most visually stunning car I have ever seen. And yet it does so in a way that is like extremely refined and it's just gorgeous to look at. So, uh, you know, this is an amazing set. I'll be scrolling through the photos so you can take a look. Um, I think the exposed engine bay is insane. Uh, you know, you don't see that enough on cars. Uh, maybe not the most practical thing in the world, but it looks super cool. Uh, and then in this particular case, uh, it has a glass roof. I think it was originally a convertible, so there was no roof, or maybe it was detachable, but in this photo specifically, or this series of photos, uh, it has a glass roof, and I think it just looks amazing. Um, so yeah, kudos, that's probably number one all time for me. And the car is just super special, so if I hopefully get to see one one day, uh, I'll definitely take my own photos. Not sure they'll be as good as this, but uh, yeah, no, it's a truly special car that's in the number one spot for me. Coming in at number two on the list uh, is a personal favorite of mine in terms of automotive photography. Uh, he goes by the name of Ivan Orlov. I think I'm saying that right. I, very much a Russian name. Um, his stuff is unbelievable. And in fact, I've modeled some of my work off of it, although that is 
very far of an overstatement. I love his style, right? He has a very rich contrasty look. The things are very clear. There's a, like a high level of clarity without it seeming like the image is breaking up. Uh, I have a personal affinity towards BMW and what better way to show it off than on an, a beautiful M8 comp. Uh, this car plus photos is really something special. Um, I really can't say enough about it, but uh, yeah, if you haven't heard of Ivan Orlov already, definitely go and check him out. Again, all the links are going to be just down below the like button, so check out all these photos and, and let me know what you guys think as well. Coming in at the number three spot is actually a another personal favorite of mine, which I'm realizing is kind of redundant now as I keep saying it over and over. Um, I, I think all of these photographers are extremely impressive, uh, especially with what they're able to produce in terms of work and just how pretty the images look. Um, and Oscar Bakke, if you haven't heard of him already, I'm sure you have. Uh, his work is unrivaled in terms of balance in his photos. Uh, somehow he's able to capture just like the most simple uh, subjects with not a lot of distracting imagery in the background of his photos. Like so the car is sort of isolated and jumping out of the frame. But this photo here is no different. Um, I think I remember when these photos were taken roughly because uh, it was a few years back and I was following all of the Yoon Olsen, Benny Ortega crew. And if you're not familiar with who they are, definitely give Yoon Olsen a look up because he's the car guy to the max and it always has some of the coolest stuff. And of course it helps to have really cool friends that are really good at photography to uh, help uh, show that to the world. This photo here is of a Lamborghini, what I believe is a uh, Huracan Evo, which is a beautiful car on its own, and then he's also taken it to some of the most amazing places and captured some, in my opinion, some of the greatest looking drone lighting uh, photography of all time. It's simple, right, but the, the balance is there. And this is something that I aspire to look for in my work, although it's very difficult, and especially in a low light scenario. I don't even know how he pulls off images like this, but uh, I can't speak enough to this image. Uh, if you guys are interested in giving it a double tap for a like, uh, the link will be down below. Coming in in the number four spot, and honestly, these are in no particular order, let's be real. So honestly, I maybe rename this thing. It's not really top five. It's more of, well, it's best photos of the week. This photo comes from uh, an amazing photographer uh, by the name of Tom Collar. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This set specifically uh, with what looks like a 993 RS model, no less. Uh, some of the best rolling shots I think I've ever seen to date. Um, definitely the most beautiful in terms of like color symmetry. The blue on this car definitely pops, especially with the sunset and the grass fields that they're around. Very impressive. Um, it helps to have a massive camera. Uh, stabilized by a rig on top of the hood of a car <laughs> so you don't have one hand on the shutter while you're trying to line up a shot out of the side of a car 50 miles an hour with wind rushing past you it makes it a lot easier to shoot it this way but uh, nevertheless kudos the photos turned out great this photo comes from insta exotics if you haven't heard of their account already uh, definitely check it out everything will be linked down below um, but it features the 964 turbo 3.6 from the account Lola the Porsche which also if you haven't heard of before again links for everything will be down below this car is pretty much an icon it's a classic car it's a good-looking car it's one of the best eras for Porsche although I think a lot of eras for Porsches look good because really they didn't change much um, but this particularly is just the vibe I'm looking for, and it reminds me of the pinnacle of all things SoCal. And there you go, guys. That wraps up the top five photos from not necessarily this week, but uh, some of the best that I've seen since I started my search on automotive photography. The list is way longer than that, and I have saved images for days, so I could certainly do a lot more of these videos, but it would be cool to do them on a weekly basis, so it's new content, and it's fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know uh, what you want to see for future videos. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.